Ben, and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. Today I am taking you on the beautiful walk from the Rincon de Loix all the way to the historic Torre de Caletes watchtower, which is situated on the Punta del Caval or Caval Point. On our way, we will pass two coves, firstly Cala Almadrava and secondly Cala Teochimo. There and back, the journey is about four kilometers in total. We start our journey at the small apartment complex of Castel del Mar with its charming whitewashed houses and small courtyard areas filled with plants. From there we carry on downhill and pass British Bar Maritas which offers a great spot to stop for breakfast or lunch with stunning views before or after the walk itself. This straightforward route forms part of the Sierra Alada Nature Park and the easy to follow asphalted path takes walkers and cyclists through part of this park to the Punta del Caval where we'll find the ruins of the watchtower at the end. The sea accompanies us on one side and the mountains on the other. As you can see here, our first glimpse of Cala Almadrava which is made up of fine sand and rocks and is a popular place for sunbathing, swimming and diving. The beach area is 100 metres long and its calm and transparent waters which are full of aquatic life make it an ideal place for snorkelling. To access it, you must walk down a few steps then across the countryside, so make sure you wear appropriate footwear if you don't want to stub your toe, or worse. Incidentally, the name Almadrava is the word for a traditional form of fishing or netting fence used to catch tuna that was invented by the Phoenicians more than 3,000 years ago. Slightly further along the coast, we pass the second stunning cove, Calatio Chimo. This is a smaller bay of only 60 metres and again it offers crystalline waters and a small section of shore. Cars can be driven down quite close to the beach access point, but parking is very limited so it may be best to park slightly further away on Punta de Pinet and walk all the way down instead. Both coves are well-known nudist spots, so do be aware, although Benidorm City Council does not officially recognise them as such. As we continue along the route, the sun streams over the mountains and we can see the odd ruined building amongst the old scrubby terraces, which show the last traces of this ancient irrigation method for dry land that the Moors introduced to Spain many years ago. If we look even higher up, we can just see the cross way up above us, keeping an eye on the whole of Benidorm from its viewpoint on Kaya, Taiwan. The whole route is on very easy terrain and is hugely popular. Along the way, you are more than likely to see cyclists, joggers, fishermen, hikers and many people strolling along or walking their dogs. Up until a few years ago, you could drive your car right along to the watchtower where we are headed, but once the area was declared a nature reserve, local authorities decided to close the route to vehicles to protect the flora, fauna and the tower because of its historical value. Regarding the fauna that you might see along the way, there are many yellow-legged gulls, swallows in springtime who do not stop singing and shrieking while they flutter about, and if you are lucky, you might even spot a hawk or two that sometimes come out to hunt for food and are a fabulous sight to see. It is also probable that you will see cormorants at the base of the cliff, in the coves or flying along the sea. But if you are really lucky, you may even see a family of dolphins swimming by. Although sadly, after many years of walking by the sea and up in the mountains, I've never seen any yet. Have you? The flora, or plant life, mainly consists of pine trees, which are scattered around the ravines and over the mountainside. This is mainly due to the fact that it is a dry, sunny, shadeless area and is typical of the region. Finally, we get our first glimpse of the Les Caletas Watchtower, also known as Torre Seguro or Torre Punta del Caval. The tower has been declared a national heritage site due to its significant cultural interest. Back in 
the early 1600s, the authorities of the time, in particular the King Felipe II, ordered watchtowers to be built along the Levante coast to avoid the constant threat of Berber pirates. Benidorm at the time was located in a small walled town in the area known as El Canfali that we now know as the area by the church at the top of the old town. At the base of the cliff there are fossilised sand dunes formed over 75,000 years ago and another reason that the area was declared a nature reserve. The King's engineer, Juan Bautista Antonelli, was in charge of planning the network of towers and fortifications. Aguilo Tower in La Cala de Villa Hayosa, the walls of the castle of Benidorm, the tower which we are talking about today, and to the north the Bombarda Tower next to Albir Lighthouse, all date from that period. The Torre Caletas is now in ruins, and added to the fact that it is on the edge of the cliff, it is advised not to get too close to it in case of collapse or landslide. However, with the addition in recent years of wooden steps up to it with plenty of handrails, it's a lot easier to enjoy this area than you might think at first glance. Several information boards are dotted around too, so you can learn about what you are viewing. Les Caletas Tower, or Tower of the Coves, is so named because it is located in a strategic point to watch the small bays, or calas in Spanish, where pirates used to hide. This network of coastal watchtowers were usually guarded by two men on foot and two on horseback, who were responsible for the vigilance and transmission of alerts to other towers and castles via the means of bonfires. As you look out over the Mediterranean and along the coast to neighbouring Albir, I'm sure you will find it as peaceful and breathtaking a spot as I do. Now all we have to do is repeat the walk, but in reverse, and head back down to the stunning Levante beach, maybe via a cocktail or two in the Bahia Blanca bar, which sits on the cliffside and offers beautiful views all along the beaches, right the way to Poniente, La Cala and beyond. I hope you enjoyed taking this delightful walk with me, and if you liked the video, I would ask that you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. Also, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere you would particularly like me to include in the future and I'll see what I can do. For those of you who have only just found my channel at all Benidorm and beyond, I enjoy not only videoing the bustling resort of Benidorm, but also the beautiful local area, including the nearby villages and towns which can mostly all be reached by local transport at very reasonable prices. I'll see you out and about next time. Cheers!